men have kidnapped the wife and child of Eugene Edoga, younger brother of Enugu State Commissioner for Environment, Chijoke Edoga. Eugene's family, according to Punch, were said to have been kidnapped inside their house at Old AK Market in Iyamafu, Isiao Uzo, local government area of the state. This comes barely a week after five persons were adopted at a pipeline near Federal College of Education along Ihia Amofu. Some stakeholders have attributed the incident to the deplorable state of the section of the road that was said to be less than six kilometers. A community leader, Godwin Ndukwe, however, noted that security operatives led by the Nigerian police force had already begun searching for them to ensure their rescue. Ndukwe said, Emufu is currently in confusion since the information of the abduction flitted into the air on Saturday evening. The disturbing part of this abduction is that they were adopted inside their house. This was the second scenario where kidnappers would be entering their victim's house to adopt them. The first was the kidnap of the eight-year-old daughter of the chairman of the Ago Amade community, Mr. Stanley, in November last year. Unfortunately, since this festive period, no fewer than 10 persons have been adopted before this incident, the day the kidnappers started with the kidnap of a Catholic priest in a Bo community, a few days later, three persons in tricycle were adopted, and last week, five others were adopted along Iyamufu, Ikem Road. It was gathered that people were no longer moving freely in Iyamufu as a result of the recent development, he said. Hmm. Nigeria has become something else. There is no day you wake up in this country, you will not hear bad news. How people were adopted, how people were killed, raped, and uh, all sorts of bad news. This is really very bad, honestly. If this continues, hmm, this is not going to tell well of, of Nigeria. From now to 2023, because this is getting out of hand. Who are these unknown gunmen in Southeast? That is the question. Who are these unknown gunmen? Because some persons are behind these unknown gunmen, you know, uh, just to bring down the region down. That is it. The next thing you go here now, say the next news. Uh, Headline you go here say IPOP members or ESN adopted these people. It's high time we tell ourselves the truth and stop this pretense. All is not well with Nigeria and we have to accept it and do the needful. The government have to sit up. Nigeria is not like no man's land. People are not behaving the way they like. Talking about lives of people. Lives are no longer valued. Then they keep people like foul. Even foul self, they get respect when you they keep them. But some persons are just there. It has turned their, you know, it has become their ways of life. Killings and all that. How do we even get into this? You cannot go out because of fear of being kidnapped, even in your own community. You can't even apply the road because of fear of being kidnapped or being killed by bad road. This is bad. <laughs> the, the, this is really very, very funny because people will be, they will kidnap people in the market, inside the market, inside hospital, in their houses. It has gone to this, to this uh, uh, level. If the government do not do something urgently about these people who are making life horrible for us in this country, it will get to everybody's tongue. 
we are just praying now that what's happening in Afghanistan should not happen in Nigeria. Because now so now like this, it starts. Small, 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 small. Instead of them to come hard on these criminals, they are pampering them. This is becoming something else. As you can see, the dance don't they reach every house. It's no longer the issue of the poor man that is inside the, <laughs> inside the camp farming. It's no longer the issue of uh, the poor man children in the public school that they will go and adopt. You get it's now becoming everyone's business because it don't they reach everybody one after the other. Me will not do something, me will not do something. Nigerians don't cry tired. But the government prefers to look to that way. Let's quickly hear what Nigerians have to say concerning this news. The first person I have here said, because of governorship aspirants given to Eduga, they are after him. That thing is political, political issue between parties. Someone just dropped that. He said it's because they gave the man uh, governorship aspirant, and that is why they adopted him. Who knows? Someone said, that is a good news. Hope Uzo Dimar started this political war, and I like it. God will fight us. And we, God will fight for us, and we will hold our peace. Or not gone men hypocrisy of the southeastern region, very close to me, Anyway, the truth is that the commissioner himself kidnapped his brother's wife and son. Hmm. Someone just dropped that. Lie. Now they are on Wahala with that. APC versus PDP political gunmen in Southeast. Guys, you have heard it now. These are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take concerning this news? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.